What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Endless XP, and this is my first video on veteranship. I will quickly introduce myself, then I'll get straight on to the gameplay. Uh, I do Call of Duty videos, obviously. I uh, I just started doing commentaries a week ago, and um, yeah. So let me hop into the gameplay. As you see, we're this is demolition on Afghan, and uh, on defense on Afghan B is the hardest one to plan out of the two so what I'm trying to do is trying to stick in the cave in the first bit and kind of see how much they're rushing A and as you see here in a minute they get a plan on A off in a, in a few seconds and uh, if, if they get a plan on A early in the game you just, it, the best thing to do is just to let it go just let them take that bomb because if you have I mean I was, as you can see I'm playing with a friend you should uh, He's in the clan SB. His name is Tarps. He, me, and him are the only two uh, playing together. So it's kind of up to us to win the game because randoms aren't really that great at helping out. So as you see, they got A, and I'm just sticking in the cave. And uh, me and Tarps are just keep, our main focus is on B. And uh, the thing about demolition or anything other than team deathmatch, really, KD doesn't matter as much. But technically. Killing is a big part of the game because of the fact that if you don't kill, then it's it's just like you're not defending if you're not killing, if that makes sense. So really, kill-death ratio matters in, in a way on defense, but as soon as I go on offense, I, I really don't care about KD. It's all about getting the objective, getting the bomb, and uh, I have quite quite a bit of demolition experience in... Um, in game battles which I played on a, a playoff team which we our record our final record was like 57 and 7 and uh, which is a very very good record for those of you who know uh, game battles records and are aware with that kind of stuff we we were able to go to the playoffs but we never did get a chance to because we uh, we just we just never had time to do it we were all busy anyways as you see we got a diffused which wasn't our my uh, my taking or my doing I didn't plan on it to be diffused but it just got planted again and I'm pretty sure this time it just stays planted and blows up but B is the hardest if there's this is probably the second hardest demolition bomb to plant this one is the second hardest and for those of you who are big demo fans uh, state A bomb which is inside the estate is next to impossible if you were playing against a good group of players so as you see, I am uh, I'm moving over towards their spawn just to try and keep them from running or flanking us on B, and uh, that that starts to work quite a bit. And then they start running around the other side, and that's where Tarts is over by. I'm pretty sure. But uh, as you see here, I grab a couple kills. I think I get my predator here in a second, and and the um, kill streaks I'm running are three, five, seven, and. The reason I'm running a UAV instead of a Predator, Harrier, and like AC-130 setup is because a UAV is probably the biggest help when you're on offense and you're rushing. Because if you're rushing without a UAV, you don't know where they are. That's probably the hardest thing to do because you'll usually be killed by somebody. Right there, you saw I got my Predator missile. And uh, I start to slowly back off and right, right about here, a noob tuber starts shooting at me so I just run out of there. I don't even worry about getting killed. And I go hide and call my predator in and get a uh, get a double kill real quick. And that gets me to my harriers, which I place right where I was watching, and I'm and uh, put them right there. <clears throat> and when you're playing demolition, you're when you're on defense, your goal isn't to be rushing at their spawn. It's not to be spawn trapping. It's to be defending what you need to watch, like the bomb. Like for example, I'm not next to the B bomb, but I am watching a, a very high traffic place which tons of players go and as you see there I pick off quite a few people and right here I pick up a bear because I ran out of ammo in my ACR and then I pick up the thumper and put that right back down because that's garbage to use I hate noob tubes I know every single way but right here I pick off a uh, quick little Barrett snipe and I get sniped in the head by a silenced Barrett which I really really highly recommend you never use he he just got a lucky headshot on me. If he hit me anywhere below my shoulders, that that would have just been a hit marker, and I would have taken him out because I see him right when he does it. 
and uh, right after that I just go back to defend B because right after that they start to push a little bit harder towards B. Uh, as you see I spawn around the cave and I watch mid cave <clears throat> and I, I push up a little bit probably a little bit too far I, I push up a little bit farther than I should have but uh, it, uh, I think I do die up here in a second so it was it, it came back to haunt me so it's my fault but when you're playing when you're playing defense your best uh, your best thing to do is just stay back and wait on them because on defense they have to come to you you don't have to go to them but the way these kids we were playing they really weren't coming towards us as much as we hoped me and tarps were both uh we had to push up a little farther than we wanted but in the end it uh it all paid off because they ended up not getting the uh the bomb planted and blown up and uh I mean, defense is all really the same thing I can talk about. It's, uh, as you can see, this is a, about a nine minute video, and we're six minutes in. And, uh, it's six minutes in, and that's the first round. That's just the first round. So the second round is obviously pretty quick. The way me and Tarps did our, did our job, I'm pretty sure. I'm not gonna spoil that quite yet, but the, uh, the first round is coming to an end here in a few seconds. And the reason I can't keep up with it as much is because I'm watching it on Sony Vegas, so I'm trying to keep up with it as much as I can. And, and the, the round just ended right there. So, <clears throat> now I go on offense, and you can see I switched to a, um, I switched to my MP5K. And normally people, if they're rushing, they use the UMP. And I personally hate being killed by the UMP as often as I do because it's just such it's just such a widely used gun the mp5 really is a great gun it's just the fact that i, I would, be, would be using ump because if i was like in game battles that's what i'd be using but it's just i'm trying to use something different just so more variety because just using the ump over and over gets really boring but uh, I, I die a couple times at the beginning, but as I said, KD really doesn't matter to me when I'm on offense because I'm really, really aggressive when I'm on offense. So as you see, I'm running down on this little catwalk-like place, and I'm, I'm going towards the bomb with tarps, and I get the... Yeah, I get the bomb planted. No, no, tarps decided to plant the bomb right there. We were both there, so I let, I let him take it. And then I, um, I run down through their spawn, and I decide that... The, fastest way and easiest way to t knock out a team in demolition is to get a double plant because the thing is if you get a double plant on them the first plant they're they're running there and they're all focused on that plant and then that one blows up and then the other one gets planted at the same time and they don't know what to do they're all they're running back and forth deciding which bomb to go to and the the best way to just get a double plant is if you have two good defenders like mean tarps uh, I, as you can see right here, I go really, I defend really, really well. I run around the, uh, the, <clears throat> I run around the plane quite a few times, and I get a guy right at the end of the game, right before he, uh, gets the bomb defused. He's sitting there planning it. <clears throat> right here, you can see, I'm just defending the bomb, doing what I have to do. B's already blown up, and A's just the only shot. I did get killed right there, but I go right back into the action, not caring whether I die or not, just trying to save the bomb. And we heard somebody start defusing. I'm not sure if Tarps got him or somebody else did, but he never uh, got the defuse. And right up here is when there's a guy. Got a couple kills right there. And right up here, there's a guy. Um, He's just sitting there. <laughs> right there, he's just sitting there. And I... I not sure how close he was to defusing it, but I uh, saved the game. I like to feel like. <clears throat> so um, that's the end of the game, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked me, thumbs up. It would it would uh give me a premiere director on here. So if you liked it, please thumbs up and come check out my channel. I would love that. And thanks. Talk to y'all later. See ya.